How are Red Bulls suddenly as quick as Mercedes? After F1 testing, it's fair to say a lot of us F1 fans had our hopes up. Could this be the title fight between Mercedes and Red Bull, Hamilton versus Verstappen that we've been dreaming of? No, surely not. Testing is just that, testing. And we can never learn anything meaningful, especially from only three days of running, right? That was until the Bahrain Grand Prix happened. Max Verstappen stormed to pole by almost four tenths of a second and ultimately looked like the quicker package throughout the entire weekend if it wasn't for Mercedes pulling out a master stroke of a strategy and Hamilton pulling out a world-class drive. Yes, even those track extensions were legal, Hamilton haters. Get over it. That's left one big question for us F1 fans. How the hell have Red Bull suddenly rocked up to 2021 and are at least as quick as the seven-time reigning champions of the world Mercedes? Well, it all comes down to the technical regulations for this year. A lot of us, including myself, assumed that this year would be an easy run for Hamilton and Mercedes as not a lot appeared to be changing. How wrong we all were. Toto Wolff himself actually came out and said that the regulations have been specifically designed to somehow change the pecking order. If so, thank you so much to whoever wrote them because the first race was an absolute banger. The chunk of floor that was cut away for the 2021 rules was incredibly important for airflow around the back of the car, particularly for Mercedes and their low rate concept. Without this clever bit of floor this year, the high rate car has an advantage that allows the air to flow better into the car's diffuser and rear end. Let's explain what rake is in the simplest terms possible because, you know, I need it. When rake is discussed in Formula 1, it means the difference in height between the car's front and back. A low rake concept, like Mercedes have, means that the difference is low and the height of the car from the track is not particularly different at the front and back. Compare this to the likes of Red Bull who build their cars with high rake concepts, you can visibly see the difference. Notice how the car is basically pointing down much more at the front. I can hear you shouting, so why didn't Mercedes change their rake concept before the season? Well, it's not as simple as just plonking up the rear ride height and off you go. With several parts of the car having to remain the same in the regulations this year, it just wouldn't be physically possible as an entire redesign would be required. Moving swiftly on to another area that Mercedes have a disadvantage in. Yes, you heard me right, Mercedes struggling. And that's in the ERS recovery and deployment area. More specifically, according to boss Toto Wolf, they're losing a little bit on the engine side in terms of D-rate, which is a roll reversal from last season. This means that the Mercedes engine is essentially clipping earlier than the Honda, which in simple terms means the energy recovery system runs short of energy to deploy. It appears to be more of a step forward for Honda and Red Bull who are together for one final hurrah before Red Bull themselves take over the Honda engine program. The mechanical efficiency of the combustion engine and overall effectiveness of the power unit have both been improved for this year. Honda going for that final season glory. There you have it, a few reasons as to why Red Bull have come out the blocks firing and teased us with a potentially epic championship fight if it stays the way it did after Bahrain. Who do you think will come out on top at the end of 2021? Let us know in the comments section below.